All right, our painting is dry. Looks like I got a little bit of something on there. Um, now we're going to use black, okay? So I'm going to dip into my black watercolor, and we're going to put some trees and grass in. So we've got our sort of ghost trees. And we're going to put some other trees right in front. First starting with our stems. I like to have a pretty thick consistency. I don't want too much water in this part because we want it to be kind of dark. And I'm going to bring some of these down a little bit into this area. We'll sort of fade them out a little bit. Okay, so let's get some trees going on here. I'm going to try to do this so that you can see. We're going to, I'm going to turn my paper just a little bit. We're going to kind of start like this at the top. And we're, we're sort of going a zigzaggy back and forth. That's the way I start my trees. And we'll come back and mess it up just a little bit. Just the slightest touch, just barely tickling the surface. Just giving the impression of trees. Now those look really horizontal right now, but we'll come back and mess them up just a little bit in a minute. Make them look a little bit more and This may end up being mostly dark. I hope you can see what I'm doing. I'm not sure exactly how to describe it, but just sort of wiggling back and forth. Giving the illusion of trees. And we're going to come over here and do the same thing we did there, starting at the top. Just sort of going horizontally zigzaggy back and forth like this getting bigger as we go towards the bottom of the tree we want that to be bigger a little bit more water just making sure i i had some in here but it's a little bit watery so i'm coming back to my big chunk here making sure that i have some really decently dark
black paint here. Just going all the way down and as we come down our tree at the base is going to be quite a bit larger than it was at the top. So just sort of like little arcs. It looks sort of weird at first, but as you go in with your layers, it looks better. Now let's come in here and fill just a little bit in here. So really what we're going for towards the end of this is just a silhouette. And some of the silhouettes will actually cover over each other. To make almost a solid black. Okay. As we get down here to our trees, it is almost solid black. And I'm laying some even darker tones on top. And then um, what we're going to do in just a second is put some grasses coming up out of this ground. My tree is a little different here, and I want to give a few more top places. Okay. I'm still not happy with this guy. Doesn't look quite realistic yet, so work a little bit on him for just a second. Okay, now let's put some grasses in. Just some little tiny flecks. Maybe some over here by our tent that create that sort of nature silhouette just the tip of your brush and then we're going to come in here with this really dark black and touch these just at the base and then bring this line over a little bit We're almost finished, friends. It's almost time for us to do our sky dots, our little 
stars in the sky. I'm going to reach into this brown, this dark brown that we used for the under layer, and I'm going to do the stick inside the tent real quick. Add quite a bit of water to it, and then we're going to go ahead and just bring in this darker area, because we, we do still want to see a delineation between the ground and the tent. Okay, and we are just about done. Bring some of these grasses into the foreground. Now we have our camp scene. We are going to use some white. Looks like my white's a little bit messy. And I'm going to actually use the end of my paintbrush to do a few of the dots. If it's not too big. It might be too big. I don't know. Maybe I'll just use my brush. Get some water in here and make sure that your white is not dried up. Now this is acrylic paint, I want to remind you. It is, it is acrylic. Because we didn't leave little white dots, we could do it with a resist, but I, again, I didn't want to get too complicated. So we're just going to put a few stars in the sky. Some will be bigger than others. It's like that time just right when Sun has just gone down. And then it might be kind of fun to do a shooting star. Now you could come in down here and you could do a little bit of some shimmer in the water if you wanted for that light from the stars is just barely touching the water.
And of course you want to sign your piece. You could sign it here or you could sign it down here. I don't usually sign my work. Um, I do if I'm selling it, but I'm going to leave it this way. I hope you've enjoyed this time together. I sure have. And this is going to wrap up our first watercolor experience together. I hope you had a good time. I will see you in the next video. And don't forget to create every single day.